And we are hearing from this year's Libertarian presidential candidate, Joe Jorgensen, who lives right here in the upstate. As she tells 7 News reporter Asia Wilson that she will continue her movement even after Joe Biden was named the presumptive winner over the weekend. It's a story you'll see only right here on 7. Voters in every state in America saw Joe Jorgensen's name on their ballots as a presidential candidate this year. The timing just worked out, and I would have run earlier. Little did they know, the Libertarian candidate lives right here in the upstate and is a full-time professor of psychology at Clemson University. In fact, I just had a student um, two weeks ago email me and say, I just put two and two together and realized that my psychology professor is running for president. And he said, by the way, he and his girlfriend were both going to vote for me. Right now, Jorgensen has over 1% of America's votes. She says this shows many Americans wanted another alternative. I think if people, uh, if we had had not such a contentious race, I think I could have gotten a lot more votes. But despite the fact that there were so many people who were angry, they still said, you know what, I don't want either one of them, and they voted for us. About 75% of Jorgensen's campaign volunteers were from outside the Libertarian Party, and she now wants to continue the momentum and put the third party on the map. I want to keep that momentum going, and I want to keep, I, I'd like to start keeping the Democrats and Republicans honest and say, hey, if you're not going to follow through and do what you say you'll do, then you're going to start losing your votes, the votes that you're so arrogant enough that you think you own. While votes are still being counted, Dr. Jorgensen says she hopes her movement will continue to spread throughout the nation. Yeah, that voters understand that they know better how to spend their money and they know better the decisions that their family needs than any special interest or lobbyist or bureaucrat in Washington and that people should be making their own decisions and not politicians in Washington. And right now we've got a one size fits all where from Washington they're telling us how to run our education, how to run our police and everything else. These should be up to state and local communities and then other decision, decisions should, should be left up to the individual. And Green Vote. Asia Wilson, 7 News. Dr. Jorgensen was previously the Libertarian Party's vice president nominee in 1996 with Harry Brown as her running mate. She says she's unsure if she'll run again, but she will keep her website up and running and see what happens.